Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully designed our ad amenity space. And here before I have already discussed about how can display the default validation message. Right now I want to do, I want to load on the JavaScript validation message. So if you want to load this JavaScript validation, only we have to do if you go to your exercise folder that is i have already shared one of the folder as a validation into the validation that is one of the validate mean.js okay so that is the one the default file will be needed better i copy it and now in i want to do and to add it in our project into the project in our public if you go to that that is our backend related if you go to that backend asset and into the js area i have already created one of the folder as a code and now here i want to do and to pass of all paste it so our first job is we have to do we have to support this validate mean js if you want to support it we have to support it in our admin that means if you go to that our admin in our admin dashboard area here i want to support like before i have already support you can see that is the same location right here i want to better copy it and after that i paste it great so i simply take it and then we have to do we have to load our file name our file name as a validate mean.js better i copy it and now that will be as a validate mean.js so here that is appropriate file location asset js code folder and that is a validate mean.js great so here make that sure you support it that is all by our first shop and then in our add um, that is amenities blade here we have to do we have to add another script which in fundamental i have already discussed about that things with you like that is one of the simple script okay better i copy that total script i copy it and now i want to do i want to paste it okay here in our add um, enemies blade after that before the section i want to paste it and also make that sure here we have to do we have to load that jquery main.js without this our javascript will be not executed okay make that sure you load it before i have already discussed about that things with you from to the w3 we can actually get it right great so here what exactly i have done in fundamental i have already discussed about that things with you for the reasons here i don't want to recap it again like that is simple one of the javascript and there are one of the form id so that is actually our my id okay here first of all we have to do we have to add that our form id in our form that means that is actually our total form right so into the form area here we have to do we have to simply add this id and our id will be as a my form great and after that that will be our rules rules will be our field name okay which field we want to make it as a required if you want to add that multiple one simply added that things in here you can call this your field name in here okay right now they have only one field like if you go right now we don't need this error message that is our default one i simply remove it and also in our form controller here we don't need anything okay i want to remove everything so that is one of the class as a form control right now our field name as a amenities name so i want to do i want to make this field as a required okay so i copy it and that is our field name i make that field name as a required will be as a true okay and which type of when that will be as a true which type of uh, message if you want to visible you can also visible it so that will be your message and our field name i name it as a amenities name and into the amenities name i make that as a required as a true and when it will be as a required i want to display some of the message as a please enter amenities name okay amenities name so now this type of one of the custom message it should be displayed and after that here that it should be displayed some of the error placement it should be highlighted and also it should be unhighlighted that means when it should be as it is invalid then that will be display on the highlighted error message and rather than when you when you already put this message then that will be as a unhighlighted and he, here if you want to call this function that means call this our error placement we have to do we have to call our one of the class as a group that is a form group okay that is the form group we have to call so i simply copy it and now if you go to our field and you can see that is actually our dev and here that is our input field so into the dev area i want to do and to call this our class as a form group so friend that's all you have to do now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go i want to refresh it 
okay i want to refresh and now i make that field as empty now click as a save changes you can see without loading that page it successfully now display our message that means our validation message display as a please enter amenities name which i have already added that things in here so that is actually our please enter amenities name okay that means this field is required and here you can see it's also highlighted okay when it should be as easy in value it should be highlighted and when you put up some of the text you can see it's automatically now gone it because of all there is also another class as unhighlighted then that will be remove this class as a in is invalid simple one of the things okay so it will be highlighted it will be add one of the class by add class function as a is invalid and when it will be appropriate then it will be remove this class as a in is invalid okay so that is the simple one of the javascript and now with this without loading that page you will get that validation okay you can see it's now successfully get this validation great i hope you like it very much so how to add some of the javascript validation that should be very clear to you Okay, so in our next video, I want to do and to add that element. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.